Listeners, tonight's a big night for the Corker Stacks. It's prom night for the class of 2015. It's also the anniversary of the tragic accident that struck our town exactly 50 years ago tonight. That's kind of depressing, Mom. It's prom night. Can you switch it to music? You're right. They've been talking about the accident all week. We'll be there soon. I can't wait to see my crew. This night is going to be the best. Come on, Mom. Smile. Hey, I'm driving. Alrighty then, hello everyone, we're going to be playing Phantasm, the Endless Night, I'm your Gibbs, this is another fantastic Epix Entertainment production, I am a big fan, and I love how the rain here is dripping off of our menu, now I did play the beta for this, so I don't know, for, I guess, I don't know, a couple months before, and I loved it, I love the gear thing going on here. It kind of makes me think of Alan Wake for some reason. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have here for more games. So yeah, I mean, I actually just played this one not that long ago, the Smithsonian Castle. And of course, they did do, uh, Epix Entertainment did do the latest Dark Parables. So I have recorded almost all of these. Uh, definitely, definitely a lot of great games here. Now, enough of that. Let's uh, get into this. Let's play. I want to see what is going on here. We've got our different sort of difficulties and a whole ton of options in our custom, which is really nice. So let's start that up. Car crash. Oh no, where is our daughter? Oh my head, I hope I didn't break anything. Where's Amy? I need to get out of this wreck right away. Oh no, our bell or our cell phone battery is dying. <laughs> the stack is awesome. That's the worst thing ever, a dead battery when you're in a car crash. Alrighty then, so we're gonna go ahead and do special features. That is how I roll. I'm fairly certain that most of you that are watching right now have had lots of experience with an object puzzle adventure, so... I know I have. I've actually lost track. I think I'm about 150 now, I think? 150 games? I do love how the paper in at the very beginning it said it was 2015. That's a nice touch. So what do we have here? We've got ourselves a nice, cool pink wallet. Our lucky quarter is just gonna help us out of, of the jam here. Uh, that looks like, uh, is that makeup? I wanna say that's makeup, like rouge for your cheeks, maybe? Oh no, that's Amy's corsage, but where is she? The doors won't budge, but we're gonna use our, nope, not our newspaper, our high heel shoe. That is a very high heel. <laughs> cool, cool. Let's get out of here. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, a little jump scare to get the blood circulating. What was that? I must have hit my head really hard. <laughs> Wait, what? 1965? 50 years in the past? Wait a minute, this is eerie. It looks like I've been dropped into 1965. That must be our car, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll take that, thank you very much, road flare. 
I really love the minimalistic user interface. Look at that. Now when you hover over it, all the other kind of design comes up, but this is almost as full as Fright. For those of you that uh, watch me play Fright, the actual hiding of the interface, the interface itself, disappeared. It was beautiful. I loved it. So anyway, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, there's our lucky quarter on that. So it looks like the eyeballs are collectible. See that right there? Cool. Eye collector. Love it. We have achievements, we have our menu, we've got our hint system, inventory of course, our tasks. So in this case here we gotta find the daughter and wow, percentage complete. That's kinda neat. And then of course our strategy guide here. Uh, hopefully that's not a spoiler at all. So let's get into the clicky clicky. It's an interactive HOP. Okay. No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. So what do we have here? Uh, we've got a lot of broken glass. I'd rather avoid getting greasy fingers. Okay. That would be a ice cream key. Why do we need that? I don't know. Just look at the rain falling on top of the scene here. This is beautiful. Now, I've been a big fan of the art in the Epic Entertainment games, and also the music and the audio, in my opinion, have, or they are top notch. Okay, so. Still not exactly sure what my options are here. I've got a. Looks like a hex key a bottle of here. Cooler's tangled in the strap. It needs to be cut free. A uh, shard of glass, I think, is what we're looking for here. Darn, a ball broken inside the case. I have to be careful when I clean everything away. Okay, so what am I going to actually be opening? It's stuck. Maybe we can use this bottle up there. Ooh, a little mini scene here. Nice adjustable. Everybody should have an adjustable wrench. Those things are handy. Super handy. I guess I'm not allowed that. Excuse me. Got a spark plug here. Drafting T. Drill bit. There we go. So let's go over here and get this clip. And now we have. I think that was going to be how we did it. We don't want to get our hands greasy. Uh, hmm. Oh, I see. We're going to have to cut that, aren't we? No. Can hear the thunder. You know, it just occurred to me that this trunk is like super full here. Oh, I see the wires. We're going to clip them back. Move them out of the way. Now we can get our rag. Maybe not. Oh, maybe that's over here. Okay. Got ourselves a little cutter. Ice cream go on top. Oh my gosh, look at the... <laughs> Cooler's got all sorts of goodies in here. Mm -mm. Chop a bar with a bite out of it. So now we've got a knife. But I honestly don't know what we're going to be smearing this cream on. Oh, I see. It's all greasy and stuck. And there's our handy dandy jack. It's definitely puzzly, you know what I mean? Rather than having kind of just a straight up list of stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think we need this for what? Who was that? Did he kidnap Amy? He can't do that. 
The door is jammed. Let's jack it up. <laughs> go for the bug. You get to go inside. Entrance hall. Where did those shadows come from? There was no one there to cast them. Hmm. Billy likes his chemistry. A handy dandy blueprint map of the school here. Whatever that is. Oh, it's our stag badge. What's this audio use? Hey, all you out there in listener land, we're gonna rock your socks off as the class of 1965 heads to prom night. This one goes out to the core crusters. Okay, I have gone back in time 50 years. That factory accident happened on prom night, 1965. It's sealed so tight it could survive a bomb shelter. <laughs> okay. We're not gonna ring the bell, are we? Hello. Got myself a vinyl record. Oh wow, who owns any vinyl records? Let me know in the comments if you've ever actually owned one or touched one or seen one. Those were old school, that's for sure. I personally have never owned one, but I have seen them. Uh, oh yeah, this is a puzzle, isn't it? So what do we have to do here? We gotta get this out of the way, right? I think this is just what we do. Scooch this this way. Come on, door. Pull these all the way to the bottom. And then move these to the top. There. Come on, tree. Get over there. Branch or whatever. Oh, maybe I gotta go this way. Never mind. And one more to go. This way. Go. All the way there. Look at that. A mini game in under a minute. That's so good right now. We didn't even skip that one. <laughs> That's my father on the left. He looks so young. I wonder how the developer got all these pictures. I wonder if they're actual headshots of the developers <laughs> when they were younger. Ooh, I'll take that little heart. Who's that guy up there? Who was that? It couldn't be the same man. I saw him enter the school minutes ago. Chemistry classroom. Ooh, I always love chemistry classrooms in video games. Go away. They'll hear us. They'll find us. Who's they? What's he doing up here in the classrooms during prom? And why is he dressed like a 1960s TV character? I thought we already established we've gone back in time. Can open. Let's open up this can and see what we got inside. Sardines! It's a key for first aid, okay. Chemistry class we can't get to. Paper airplane. Mom, help me! Live actors, yay! <laughs> Vito, not my daughter, you monster, let her go. Enter the gym, do we? We got a 41 eyeballs. Whenever I say eyeballs, it makes Warfire cringe. So I continue to say it just because <laughs> that's how I roll. Uh, okay. Can't see anything. How about we flare up the joint? There, now I can see where I'm going. Student access restricted. Mechanism. We'll have to get back to that. Ew, it's gum. <laughs> 1960s locking system or something. It's a. Oh my goodness, look at all the gooey, ooey bugs. Ew. 
I am not touching that. No way. I wonder if this actually spells something. Alright, let's go here. We can have the key. Magnifying glass. A dirty magnifying glass, not just any old magnifying. Oops. Wait, wait for it. Where's your prom invitation? It's Nancy Drew. She's a 1960s character. You don't have it. Oh, then you're not getting by me. <laughs> That's awesome. These hall monitors always did know how to wield their power. So it looks like I'm gonna need to get something that will allow me to get faster. Prom pass, I would assume. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Does work. Never mind. Nerd! You know what's really sad about this? Obviously, it's real, even in today's high school environment, but it doesn't matter. High school doesn't matter. You survive, and you move on, and you live another day. Anyone that still lives within their kind of high school mentality just never grew up. The rest of us grow up, have new friends, have proper relationships. It's okay. Alright, so what do we have here? I'll get off my little soapbox here. This oil will work, but I need to put it into something that will force it into the cracks. How about a syringe? And here's a little pro tip for you. Everyone has gone to high school. Or I should say, 95% of everyone has gone to high school. So we all have experienced it in one shape or form. Survive. Please, please, survive. That's all you need to think through is how do I survive? These, this thing is rusty, okay, so we gotta syringe it up here. Mm, chemistry lab. It's dark in here. Oh, hi there. Are they following you? My teachers will kill me. It's all my fault, but please understand. <coughs> I didn't mean it. <coughs> I wasn't trying. <coughs> so they're, they've all kind of got this pale white kind of skin tone here. The medicine. <coughs> it's in my briefcase. <coughs> so he's got an inhaler that's empty. Okay, well, what's your code, bud? <laughs> I need to find a new canister for Billy's inhaler. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. My chemistry class memorizes... Oh, memories are fuzzy, but if I want to make a repellent, I think I'll need to start with a bleach as a base. Okay. Well, look at this. Teacher's desk. This looks dangerous with all these chemicals laid around like this. Where's the fume hoods? Where's the? <laughs> okay, I, I have to keep thinking about these eyeball, eyeballs, eyeball. You know what I mean. Crayons. What are we doing here? Do I need that ruler? Nope. I could re-ink something if I really, really, really wanted to. Okay, where's the eyeball here? Alright folks, well we are out of time. Oh my gosh, I am having way too much fun. Hopefully you all are enjoying this game. I will see you in the next video. I'm your Gibbs. Bye for now.